In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Cursor ID on Windows 10 or 11. So let's directly jump into that. First of all, check out your default web browser. For me, my default web browser is Google Chrome. So I'm going to Chrome and going to Cursor.com. Here I am signing up with my Google account. If you have an account, sign in. If you do not have an account, which will be the case for most of the people, click on sign up and sign up with your email. Once the sign in is done, click on download and download the software. I have already downloaded it. Once the download is complete, open the installer to install. So it will ask for your keyboard. There are multiple options. If you are from JetPrints ID, you can select JetPrints. If you are from VS Code, select the default VS Code. The language for AI, if you want a different language to communicate, then select that one. For me, the default English is fine. Here, one important thing is code base wide. If this one is enabled, then Cursor will pre-compile your code for generative AI so that it can give better suggestion and better code completion for your existing project. Okay. And the last one is command line. If you want to install command line for Cursor or code to start Cursor ID from command line, then you can add those one. So I'm keeping the default and clicking on continue. And here is other data preference. If you want to help Cursor to improve you can select this one if you want to be on privacy mode you can select the privacy mode i want privacy mode and clicking on continue now you are all set it will ask you to log in since you have 14 days free trial for cursor so since we have already logged in earlier we'll click on login and it will open to the default web browser that's why we logged into the default web browser okay so it is asking to log into the cursor id from this session i'm clicking on yes it is saying all set feel free to return to cursor yeah so here it is now cursor id is installed i can create a new text file and start coding or i can open an existing project like this one this portfolio project here this project is opened and i can check out the sources from this if i need anything to change i can do that so this is how you can install cursor on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. There are a bunch of shortcut for cursor AI and that website is cursor101.com here. You will find all the important keyboard shortcut for cursor.